Hello, Stylers. Um, it is um, a few weeks since I recorded the first part that will be this vlog. And uh, man, it's been a crazy few weeks. Um, two videos have been uploaded since then. Well, two videos, yeah, two videos have been uploaded since then. And a lot has happened in between. Um, but today I'm going to continue on with um, the uh, finishing old projects as well as hemming and mending um, clothing that I've had that has just been sitting around. I haven't been able to wear it because it has holes in it. Some of the stitching has come loose, you know. Today is Saturday. Um, it is cloudy and gloomy outside. It is very humid. It has been raining for days. And it's going to continue to be raining all the way into next week. Um, we may even have a rainy 4th of July. Um, however, uh, I'm not hitting these streets. Uh, I have to stay close to the crib for reasons that I will discuss in a future video. Um, so, I'm going to be doing some sewing. I'm going to be fixing up some things. I'm going to, you know, share share with you guys those um, projects and those meetings and probably answer some questions. And what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay. Hi, Sellers. I'm back. It is hours later. It's like, it's hours later. <laughs> uh, several things. So, uh, I was on the phone with my little sister for like an hour, and then I made me something to eat. No, I was on the phone with my little sister for like an hour, and then it started literally storming outside, like a tornado warning in effect, and everything. It was shoot, guys, back a little bit. So you can see, as you can see, Sheba is not here right now. She's over there in the corner because I took her with me and I haven't put her back. But I'm going to need her. I'm going to keep her out because I'm going to need her for something I'm about to work on. So, uh, I set aside a pal of things that I want to work on. Stuff that's pretty simple and easy. First things first, I believe this was one of the last things I was, the last things I filmed two weeks ago that I was working on. And it's just about me fixing the hem um, as well as fixing this front part so that it it lays better. Um, I took like heat and bond to it and sewed it up a few times and it's just it looks very sloppy. It, I, I'm not I'm not um, if I was out somewhere and I you know I was telling somebody I made this and they was like can I get a closer look I wouldn't want them to see this. And so I'm at the point now where I really want the things I make for myself to have a certain um, finish to them. Um, because at first I didn't care. If it looked good on the outside and, if, and I could wear it, it was fine. But now I want things to look finished. So I just want to, I want to fix this. I want to fix this. And I'll put, probably put this on the dress form because it'd be easier. And then I do need to fix the hem because I still have these straggly little frame bits. So that's like the first thing I'm gonna work on. Then um, next is this jumps. This is not a jumpsuit. What is this? A romper. The first romper I ever made, like three summers ago. I think it was 2019. I made this. So this romper I made, and the only thing I need to do with this romper is like reinforce some seams, clean up some of this, um, the edging on the um the cutouts and just reinforce some seams and clip some things again all stuff on the outside of things um so that it can just you know feel and look better i have this thing of elastic i'm trying to decide hmm no nah. I'm not gonna make more work for myself. I'm just gonna clean up, reinforce some of the seams, um, 
clean some of this top stitching because I have like top stitching on the sleeves that are not that pretty and I just I kind of just want to you know I want to fix it a little bit so that I can wear this when I go to like out to brunch or go to a festival whatever yeah okay Next is this black bumper that I got from Torrid back in 2018. I don't remember specifically because I got it to win the Coachella. I need to fix these straps. These straps have come a little for me pulling this on and off. So I want to fix that. And then it's something else. Can't remember. I'm going to have to try it on this one, but I know mainly with the straps. Yeah, mainly with the straps. Yeah, I just want to fix the strap. That's an easy fix. This dress, which I made 2019. Oh, last year. Did I make this last year? I think I made this last year. I want to say I made this last year. What I want to do with this is something that I had originally wanted to do with this. I originally wanted the sleeve to be complete off the shoulder and have the sleeves attached into the dress. But what I ended up doing was cutting the sleeves separate and having them taped on. I don't like it like that. It's not, it's not, it's not hitting for me and my body. It kind of cuts off and looks weird. So what I'm thinking of doing is one, removing the sleeves, seam ripping this, um, this, uh, seam down, um, and the same thing for this other side, seam ripping the seam down and just sewing it back together so that the sleeve and the armhole are one. Um, I think it's a pretty easy fix. See, ripping this down and then sewing it back together. Yeah, so that. I'm trying to think. Yeah, sewing it all together. But not. I'll talk. I'll talk through that when I get there. Um, this is a dress I was working on. I may still upload the tutorial, but I'm just fixing it. I haven't finished it to so upload the tutorial, but I'm going to finish it today. And that's simply me changing the position of the strap. The strap was too far over, so it, the cow neck really didn't do what it's supposed to do. So I want to fix that, attach the straps, give it a good pressing, cut off this extra bit inside. Actually, I'm going to keep the extra bit because that'll help it with the sheerness because this fabric is kind of sheer. And then this will be done. And um, you guys might get a video on that uh, separately. Um, I've already seen ripped this um, up because I've decided that if this is the front, I like have how that opens like that. I want to bring this over. So first things first, I'm going to cut this panel. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm going to cut...
guys, I need you guys praying. Okay, so you guys can't see, but I veered off, like, kind of tapered in that line. Um, so that it kind of, so that when I sew it down, it's like that, you know? I think I'm going to do one, a few more. Y'all need to be praying in the spirit, okay? I need my intercessors. I need, I need my aunties. I need my mothers. The women of church on my, that follow me. I need y'all to be praying in tongue. I need y'all to be praying the word that Nadia soon will have her own place, space, a new camera, great lighting, a beautiful setup, okay? I need y'all to tap into that. Okay? The God will is being done. And resources are coming. I have assistance. I have help with filming. So I don't have to worry about my camera setup and lighting. about 20 minutes maybe I'm so done with this skirt okay so moving on to this romper I need to go through and look at this romper I know there's some seams I want to fix and I re I want to redo the top stitching some of these edges I had to dip out for that my mom came down here and she was on the phone and I didn't want to push play and have me talking and her talking because that can be distracting so I'm still working on this jumpsuit um, I'm fixing up seams I'm relaying down this elastic band the elastic band wasn't secured it was kind of like moving all over the place like I still have seams and stuff to reinforce so that is what I'm doing. Y'all, it's really raining. <laughs> it's really raining. I really was so excited when I first made this romper. I do want to make more rompers. I want to make some of them loose, flowy rompers. Um, I'm gonna see if I could catch a sale on some fabric or something. I'm like fabric.com or um, the fabric warehouse uh, I want to get a bunch of loose lightweight fabric I want to make some t-shirt dresses would you guys be interested if I make some y'all y'all didn't see that lightning yeah some t-shirt dresses uh, yeah I got some holes to fix that's some holes in this house. That's some holes in this house. That's some holes. Hey, like, I don't really have any plans. I mean, if I did, and it involved leaving the house and going outside and being outside, yo, those got canceled the moment the tornado warning, warning came to it. The moment the TV said, eh, 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 I'm... I was done. 
hopefully sometime in July. <laughs> Cause it's it's June. It's June twenty something. It's the end of June and At least I got some at least I got some champagne. I mean at least I'm able to drink. You know. Um drinking so I recommend it. I I highly recommend those two activities together, honestly. You can't go wrong. I have mimosas. So I have some juice, some watermelon juice, and some champagne. It's raining. Usually I would make a glass of a mug of tea, but oh my god, the street is flooding. Oh my god. One asks, how often do I wear a piece? How? So I'm guessing they asking how many times do I wear something? As many times as I want. Honestly, if it's still in good condition and it and it fits me and it's perfect for the season or the vibe I'm dressing for, it's gonna get put on. I want to get as much use as my clothes as possible. That is why I am doing what I'm doing today, which is fixing up some of the things I've already made, some of the things I brought, and just like, you know, making sure they still, I'm doing maintenance. So just how you will maintenance like your car, you do maintenance on your car, you do maintenance on your equipment and everything, make sure it's up and running, doing well. That's what I'm doing with my clothes. And even if I have some clothes that I'm not filling, either I'm going to sell it, or I'm going to reuse the material to make it something else. So I will wear a piece as much as I, as long as I am still loving that piece. I have some stuff in my closet that I've had. Oh my God. Um, since before I moved back here to Chicago. So I got a few shirts. Especially men's button ups. That I've had since 2014, 2015. 15? I ain't throwing them away. Um, especially if they're like if they're like vintage. Like some of them are like vintage or just, you know, a little older and it's gonna be used. Okay, next question. Oh, this is for my friend. She asks, what inspires a look? See, she knows. She knows I don't wear outfits. She knows I wear looks. It's a look. Even on like the hottest of days, I'm trying to I'm trying to tell a story. I'm trying to create a vibe, but it's a look. It's 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 a vibe. So what inspires a look? She already noticed. I feel like she's just asking this for you know content. Um, what inspires a look? My vibe. Like what story am I telling? Um, do I want to go Afrocentric glam? Do I want to go a little bit more bohemian? Do I want to do street style? Like what? What's not who not what version of Nadia am I trying to be that day? That's it. What version of Nadia I'm trying to be that day, and also where I'm going also determines how I would dress. Am I going to church? I don't know why church is the very first thing that came out of my mouth, but <laughs> it's the most consistent place I've been going for the past year. Um, because I serve at my church, so I was still able to go even though we was in quarantine um when they let like 25 people in i was on the list of 25 so not the point point is um church uh brunch dinner uh picnic um i don't date i don't i don't i'm not dating at this current moment also mothers aunties i need y'all to be praying into that your baby ain't out here dating she she's so she's so she's so bored and i'm not lonely but i'm alone I want a date. I want a man. I want a young man to hold the door open for me and give me some some flowers. I could buy my own flowers, but I, I want some flowers given. You know, someone to pick up the check because I don't like paying for my own food. Where do I see my style going in ten years? In ten years, I'll be forty something. Mother dollar. That's that's why I see my style going. For those of you who know, you know, mother darling. Well, not may maybe mother. Rich auntie vibes for sure. 
for a hundred percent sure. And mother darling, because I got a god baby. So mother darling. Need I say more? That's why I see my style in ten years. <laughs> mother darling. I just you know, I'm like, hey. We're auntie vibes. I I plan to be rich and so therefore that part so yeah I'm done with the romper um with this romper my little linen romper I I seam ripped the part that was together and I just cut it off because it was all raggly and um but I'm gonna hold off on this because I have to change my thread and I want to sew this down and I'm gonna use white thread to sew this down maybe I should use black I'm gonna see how it looks okay. I'm gonna re-save this let's render that and then I'm gonna sew this stuff up and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna work on the sheer dress which I'm so excited about and I think that may be the last thing I do So, I'm done with the zebra cow slip dress, which I think I am going to finish that and upload it as a tutorial. I got the inspiration from that from At With Wendy last year. <laughs> last year, because I was gifted this fabric. And so, I never finished it for just uh, reasons. It's just, it's just something I never finished. And so, I just finished it. But I'm about to press it because the cow neck is not as it's not as uh flat, it's not as pressed, it's not as it needs to be. And plus I'm gonna press all the seams because this is a very lightweight uh uh this fabric shows everything. So I'm gonna be using my little bitty iron, my little steam iron that I got. Press it out. Dollars. I'll come back and let you know am I gonna stay in this correct creative vibe because I haven't sold all week. Usually after I finish some major things, I don't I try to stay away from the sewing machine so much, especially since I'm not just sewing for fun anymore. I'm also sewing for work, paid work. Um I do have something from a client that I need to start. And 
I have to already, I'm already planning out my next round of products and my collection for the fall. So I want to, I want to play around with some things. So I may, I may tap into that tonight, but I may not. So I'll let you know what I'll start with. And I will come back and form me in this video. Whichever one I do. I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the final conclusion of this vlog. I have that footage that I filmed two weeks ago. So that I have, I have to sit down and get that right and everything. I will try before I, before I export and upload this video. I will try to get pictures of all the stuff that I worked on and what I finished so you guys can see what it looks like everything but possibly the zebra dress because that is going to be a full-blown tutorial I will get actual footage of me in that wearing that out I think that's it I think that's it um thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for sitting with me vlogging thank you to those who is it technically a vlog Thank you so much for you guys who submitted questions and I hope that you are getting out in this world and you outside and getting some of this outside action safely. Um, remember you are loved. You are worthy to be loved. Um, but most importantly, remember